Outside With You is about the first date between our president and first lady Barack Obama and Michelle Obama. Yes, you heard me correctly. On their first date, it is not initially a date. She thinks he is taking her to a meeting, but the meeting isn't till much, much later, so he persuades her to letting him take her to the local Afrocentric Museum, a screening of Spike Lee's Do the Right Thing, and of course, the meeting is where she gets a glimpse of how good he is at speeches. And throughout the day, they learn about each other and their families and their motivations. Now, when I heard about this movie, I was very curious. I saw the trailer f and for this, and I was like, this is very interesting. Because it would have been real easy to do a full biographical film about them, but no, they just confined them to this one date. So it is essentially a date story. Now, Parker Sawyers and Tika Sumter, they play the two main roles, Barack and Michelle. And they look absolutely nothing like their counterparts, and that's automatically what went through my head when I saw the trailers. They look nothing like their counterparts, so it's just... They're just acting the part, and they're just reenacting them. But And plus, it would have been real easy to do impressions of them. Because, let's face it, we all do impression of Barack Obama from time to time. My fault, Michelle, I'm going to take you out on the state. Before I take you to this meeting, I want to take you to a nice museum, a screening of Spike Lee's Do the Right Thing, and then we're going to have a good time. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> but in any case, this movie was good. I was really digging this movie. And they do essentially do impression of him, like Tika Sumter who plays Michelle Obama, she gets Michelle Obama's accent down. Like when you hear it, you're like, that's totally Michelle Obama. And you actually believe that she's that she's Michelle Obama. As for Parker Sawyers, like he does an impression of Barack Obama, but it's not laughable and it's not over the top. Like when you hear him and see him, you're like, yep, that's totally Barack Obama. You actually believe that's Barack Obama. You know, you believe that he's smooth talking Barack, you know? <laughs> you automatically forget that it's actors playing the parts. I guess really my only negatives about this movie is the setting, because this movie's supposed to take place in 1989, and it didn't really feel that way. We only heard a couple of songs from the 80s, like Janet Jackson and I'll Be Sure, but outside of that, it just it really gave more of a 70s feel than an 80s feel. Especially since this is the late 80s, you know? And the ending of this movie was very abrupt, and it just came out of nowhere. Now, I'm not going to spoil it, but like it just ends out of nowhere. And I actually would have loved to see a little bit more outside the date. And granted, I know this movie is supposed to be confined to this one date. That's the point of the movie. But it just would have been nice to see, like, you know, we all know who they become eventually, though. But, you know, it would have been nice to see, like, an aftermath. But, again, I understand, I understood what they were going for, and that's the point of the movie. But other than that, this was a great film, and it's a great date night film. I took my girl to see this, and she enjoyed this. This is a great film that humanizes them, and that's one of the things I loved about this movie, is that it humanizes them, and you actually believe, like, wait a minute, they were actually real people before they became who they are today. And you learned a whole lot more about them that I actually did not know about them, and that was very interesting. The two leads were believable as their counterparts. They were great. Please, go see this movie. Do not let this movie fall under the radar. Just please, go see this movie. I'm going to give Southside with you four stars for worth money. Thank you so much for listening. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. If you want to see more, go ahead and check out my channel. The link is in the description below. And be sure to check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, MoviePilot, and Periscope. Peace.